Okay, so you didn't see an opening. There's a reason for that, and I'll get into this. So I recently designed something, and this would kind of spark me to design something rather than just to print it out again and just go, hey, well, I printed something. I downloaded a print a couple days ago called the Can Crush. No, it was found on my mini factory. I do not recommend printing this thing. And I'll explain the reasons why, but first I want to go a little bit of story behind the idea of why I printed this device and the headaches that came along with these. Okay. The can crush itself is an interesting design nonetheless, but I think it has a couple of little flaws. Number one, no way to really crush a can properly. Number two, it doesn't fit North American cans. There should have been a American, there should have been like a size difference. So if you want to print this size, you use this one. If you want to print this size, you want to use that one. If you want to print this size, you use that one. Third of all, maybe this is supposed to be used to step on. Like this is your plunger. This is your holder. The problem with it is that when I tried to print it out the first time, these did not fit together. So this diameter was smaller than the actual plunger. So that when the plunger hit it, it hit the wall. Exactly. It would not go in. So that was the first problem. Second problem is it's meant for cans that are smaller than North American size. Here in North America, our cans are 355 milliliters or otherwise known as 32 ounces. To give you an idea of the width around a can, I'm going to pull up my calipers right now and do this right now in front of you guys. And yeah, there was some stuff on the calipers I didn't realize that was on there. Case. So these are the calipers I use. They're cheap calipers I got from Canadian Tire. Uh, Canadian Tire is a Canadian brand and uh, nothing to really worry about. You know, Canada is different from the U.S., but uh, basically it's your Harbor Freight, just a little bit better. And these measure up to 67 mil, uh, millimeters across. So I took that into process and, and I went, okay, if it's 67, let's go with 70. 70, again, too small. And even the plunger did not fit it properly to, to, uh, to fit it. So I was like, hmm, what if I went 76? 76 actually worked. Now, the reason I'm telling you these numbers is in case you want to build, you want to print it yourself, make sure that you go into Kira and set up these settings. So let me go into my Kira here and I can show it to you. Uh, webcam, we're going to shorten me out. All right. Oh, all right. There we go. Now I'm small again. Yay. Okay. And I'm covering information here. So we'll just put me on this side. Yeah. So as you can see here, I went with 76, which is 133% bigger than the actual item. Uh, I also adjusted, I didn't adjust the Z. The Z height is tall enough. Now, if I put a can in here, you'll see it just rises above it. And then I want to push the plunger down on it. So this is the size I use. This usually takes about, to print this part alone, it's six hours and eight minutes using at, uh, that's weird, program just crashed. That's a first. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to crash like that. That roughly takes eight and a half hours, and yeah, it does take that full time to print. I actually timed it last, when I was printing it last. Here's my issue with the damn thing. It doesn't crush cans too well. As you'll see in a video that's probably popping up now or just started popping up, you're going to see me pressing down on the item, trying to flatten a can. Sometimes it flattens really well. Other times it doesn't. But it only flattens up to so much. You can only crush about one third of the can, two thirds of the can. I have not been able to press this down farther past the ring here and get a good press. As you can see, the height difference, that's as far as it will go down. It's about to here. So you still have this part of the can not crushed. Now, I could throw this in TiggerCAD and mess with it, but I don't know what attributes are on this. If it's share alike or if it's, you know, I cannot produce this and make money off of it. Well, okay, but I didn't see any, but I haven't looked at the attributes itself on this item. 
But from my initial play with this item, it is extremely long to print. And you have to make it strong. So I went with by three parameters, by three parameters, by three parameters. Sorry. Three walls, three tops, three bottoms to give it that strength. And I use 10% um, infill grid design. Same with a plunger. Three, three, three. Or I should say it like this. Three, three, three. To give it that strength it needs to press down. Also, 10% infill on this. Here's the other problem I have with the can crusher. Is when you crush the can, there's no way to eject it. So there's no way that I can go pound, pop it out, and I would have a crushed can. When you crush it, the mallet, everything forms around the mallet. So when you're pulling it out, you're not pulling out the can with it. If the can somehow wrapped itself around that, that would be perfect. Nope. You have to get in there with pliers or something and pull the can out of there because I tear off these little tabs because I donate the tabs to a company that, make, that gets wheelchairs back from the tabs. So... As I'm crushing the can, there's no way for me to get the can back out, so I have to use a pair of pliers. Design changes I would change in this is some way to actually maybe put a bottom, a release bottom on this, which I know is probably not able to be made or produced. So I understand that. May a screw on top, screw on bottom. May a screw on bottom might be a better idea so that when I get the can, I can push it out. What I would also design is maybe a way that a thing can sit on top of this that clamps on and has a screw so you can tighten it down all the way down. So crush. So as you're tightening it, it's crushing this down and then I can unloosen it all and unscrew the top and boom, can falls out. Yes, I know that's a lot of work, and I don't have the skills nor the design effort to do that. So I'm throwing it out to you guys. You guys think you can make a better can crusher? If you're interested in this can crusher itself, I will put out a link to it so you guys can have a look at it. If you want to print it, be my guest. But I personally, after the hours and prototyping I had to do, which was like four days of reprinting this item not once not twice not three times but four times i i can't recommend this but now that i have the sizes i am passing it on to you guys in case you do want to print something that can't crush your cans this is available If you guys like the content we are producing, please, you know, be, feel free to drop, you know, feel free. If you want to support us, you can, not required, but you can reach us on Patreon. You can reach us on Steam Labs. The links are in the below. Also, the subscribe button should appear somewhere here. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell. The bell lets you know when we bring out new content because YouTube has this audacity not to put out content and i've heard people say don't ring the bell button if you want push up notifications well there's ways to turn that off in your phone i'm just saying there there is an option in youtube where it says push notifications you can turn that off and then it just shows up in your subscription feed when you're going to check youtube again on an app or when you hit the bell in your web page it'll show you that you have episodes that have been uploaded so to all the people that tell you don't ring the bell, no, ring the bell. It lets you know when we come with content. And don't forget, like and comment, guys. I read the comments all the time. Uh, my latest videos that I've released, I've always put a like for it. So, you know what? Hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think. And until next time, everybody, have fun printing.